hang on a second, how come the men? It's okay for the men to wear helmets, but not women. I want to know the answer to this. Will somebody please contact me and let me know? In the meantime, let's get on to our first guest tonight, who is in the difficult situation of having a reputation as a larrikin, which threatens to outstrip his reputation as a footballer. And look at this, what a footballer. Look at him, through the defence there, sure it's only manly, but nonetheless, it's a hell of a try. Will you please welcome, not only a good time guy, but a very talented footballer indeed, the North Sydney, Queensland and Australian Rugby League 5 8 Peter Jackson. Jacko, welcome what aboard. The bag. The bag? Uh, what about the bag? I just didn't bring one. I just didn't bring one thing for the. Uh, what is it called? Oh, holy relics. The holy relics. What have you, we got a football great. I got, I got the. Uh, the packet of smokes that David Hill wouldn't let me smoke. No, 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 no. Naughty! I've got the footballer's dream, the can of beer. <laughs> That's a wet dream. I've got the, uh, I've got the tights that I probably played my last test ever in. Oh, really? Because, yes, you... They might need a clean. In fact, they do. That's funny. I didn't think you raised a sweat in that particular <laughs> test. <laughs> and the boots I probably played my last test in, too, down in Melbourne. So this is almost hanging up the boots? Yeah, basically. Oh, Jacko. Well, no, you might, you might get back. No, I'll I mean, stay positive. No, if they ever have a veterans Australian team, <laughs> you'll get there. <laughs> Jacko, of the many stories uh, told about you, which is your favourite? Well, unfortunately, I suppose a lot of the funny stories are sort of uh, you had to be there ones. Oh. Well, let's pretend I, we're there. Yeah, OK. I think uh, in 86, when I was deciding to come to Sydney, I had a good offer from Canterbury and a good offer from Canberra. And um, about 3 o'clock in the morning, I was full of it. And uh, I was sort of tossing up, so, you know, like, best thing to do when you're making a critical life decision is to get full of it. So I was, uh, I was tossing up what I should do, and I, was, I sort of said to myself, well, Sydney, I'm in Brisbane, and I'm full of it. I've got to get myself, got to get my life together. So I said, if I go to, if I go to Sydney, it's all over. So I rang up Don Ferner at three o'clock in the morning and said, Don, I'm coming down. You didn't say it exactly like that. Yeah. So that was it. Yeah. That was it. And Don yeah. responded positively. So you had it? to be. That was about as funny as a war. That wasn't it. No, no, no. That was that was <laughs> that was good. You're glowing inwardly. No, that was yeah, absolutely. <laughs> they're going internally berserk to quote Elliot Goblet. Well, actually, a story I know about you but I'd like you to relate, is bungee jumping with Wally Lewis. Yeah, we went in New Zealand after the last test, uh, we, Wally and I, and actually the, Jeff the hitman, Harding. Name dropper. We, yeah, oh. yeah, clunk. There it is. <laughs> yes. But, uh, yeah, he, we all jumped off the Mount, Start, Mount Smart Stadium where the Commonwealth Games were, which was uh, pretty stupid, really. Yeah, what was, what was, was it water beneath you? What was... No, it was uh, concrete, yeah. <laughs> Which even made it more stupid, really. Yeah, very it? stupid. And weren't you supposed to be in Sydney playing football at that time? No, I, I, went, I, was, I went away with the Australian team in 89, and um, I was basically there. I didn't play a test over there, so... I don't know what I was doing there, no, basically. Sure. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. Well, that's what they said about you in the test in Melbourne. Yeah. Too, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, Peter, you have played with <laughs> and against Mal Meninga, son of Thor the Invincible. <laughs> For those of you who don't I'm know, yeah. <laughs> heard that one, haven't you? Yes, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> hi, Ida, if you're watching, don't know. For those of you who don't know Mal Meninga, he's built like any four human beings crammed together by some <laughs> bizarre fusion experiment. How, how do you play against Mal Meninga? How do you stop him? Or is there a clause in your contract which says you don't have to tackle him if you don't feel like it? Oh, I'd, li I'd like to put it in. Uh, actually, uh, to be honest, and Mal will probably hate me saying this, I, I don't find playing against Mal that hard. I, I, you too. Yeah. Oh, God, mate, because we can talk about this. He's easy. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I sort of seem to have more uh, trouble with the s small, nippy guys than yeah. the big, sort of lumbering guys with tree trunks as legs. Well, how, how sort, do you sort stop of thing. Do you do, do, do a sort well, of basically you've just crocodile got to, do you think and just hypnotise him? Yeah. <laughs> basically, you've just got to sort of put your body on the line, just throw your, le throw your head at those legs and hopefully you uh, won't end up in hospital. <laughs> Strikes me as a remarkably stupid philosophy, uh, throwing, throwing your head at legs like that. Well, yeah, well, it is, actually. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I got that. But fortunately, fortunately you're well again. Actually, yeah. you, I mean, I, I, I'm I, afraid... I've been fortunate I haven't had to play against Mel that often because, yeah. as you know, Andrew, because you've followed my career so closely over the last yes, ten years. Yes, 
at, uh, I actually started playing with Mel in South Brisbane. With Wayne Bennett as your yes, coach? Yes, with Wayne Oh, huh? Harry Belcher. And probably. he thought I didn't know. And then I played in Canberra and, and uh, I've, only, I've only actually played about two games against him in ten years. So. Yeah, and the rumours are that it's because you're actually frightened of doing that. That's yeah. why you've always, you've moved to teams well, with Well, actually, Mel, I, played, I played with him down in Canberra and, and Gene Miles and Mal were the, uh, were the Queensland centre combination at the time and I was sort of trying to crack in, you know, get a start in there. And uh, I thought the best way to go about it was uh, one day down at Seaford Oval, I pushed him into the goalpost, he broke his arm, and I got two years in the State of Origin team. Well done. Yeah. Now, that, that is what sport is all about, young people out there. Help your mates out. But it's not all fun. It's not all the fun of, of throwing your, your head at legs this big. I mean, it can get serious. You played half of last year, including that try we just saw earlier, with, with a horrendous groin injury, <coughs> which, of course, only happens if you've got a horrendous groin. What, <laughs> what, uh, what was it? Hard to lug around, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Someone has to do it. You should be playing basketball, not rugby league. <laughs> now, what, um, what was this injury and how did it affect you? Oh, well, I won't go into the complexities of it, but basically it was just, uh, it was tendonitis of the groin. Don't Overuse. Overuse. <laughs> but but I, I don't, I actually don't wish to get crude here, but I've, <laughs> what is the, I mean, is it the actual groin or is it muscles inside? Well, it's in there. Yeah. It's up in there. Oh, God. You want to see me scar? No, not particularly. <laughs> Oh, people think it's a uh, sex change operation, but it's like, <laughs> Yeah, how many people are, Jacko? I don't <laughs> want to know about that. Now, obviously, that's, that must be an incredibly painful injury. Well, 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 here's a chance to be a hero. Just say yes. Yeah, it, it's just annoying, I think. The worst yeah. thing about it was you could... Whenever you, you could... Once you were warm, you could do... You could go all right, but as soon as you cool down, at half-time, I used to have to keep jogging on the spot and, and you know, to keep it warm, because once you cool down, it, get, it just cramps up and... It, Basically, you can't run. And I used to get a shooting pain through to my back as well, which is... You know. No, I can so only... to play on... Where's that camera? To play <laughs> on like I did was quite an heroic effort. Yeah, it was, and we're, we're certainly very impressed. But it must be... On... <laughs> it, it, it must be very hard uh, for your wife an injury like that. And I'm not meaning to be crude, but it must... I mean, aside from football, you can't jog on the spot all the time for your whole life to keep yourself warm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, she's worked out of way. All right, well, we won't go into that. Now, Jacko, no. Rugby League... She's in choice. the green room, too. Hi, Siobhan. Rugby League is not just a game of, of uh, brute force, it's a game of skill, and I'd like to put those skills to the test right now. You're a 5 -eighth. your ball skills are legendary, uh, according to your CV. Um, <laughs> so, would you be prepared to accept the live and sweaty pass the ball challenge? Yeah, sure. Roll graphic. <laughs> Pretty simple concept. We invited her back tonight, not a forward, or else we could have been here all night explaining it. This is the old Rex competition. It is the it? old Rex competition. Who's going to make the big elephant noise? Uh, well, Rex will because Get he's behind there if you hit his ear. <laughs> <laughs> He'll make the noise, yes. It'd be pretty hard to miss his ear, wouldn't it? Yeah, actually, that, the whole thing is modelled on his ear. <laughs> it's a, well, it's a scale version of his ear, except it's slightly smaller. All right, um, let's go. Okay, Colin. What, two each? Through, uh, you get four. We're going to see if you can get all four through. Well, you're not going to have a go. Well, no, you're against, It's not me against you. Okay, look, I'll have a go. You go first. Right, two okay. each, okay? Okay, two each. Peter Jackson, champion footballer. Good luck, mate. Uh, uh, yeah. yes. That's what happens. That's what. That's what happens when you pass the ball at North Sydney. Oh. <laughs> And he's the playmaker of the team. Thanks very much, Jacko, for ruining the set. Peter Jackson. <laughs> oh. I just hit the light. Well, now it's over to our... Oh, this is fun. Now it's over. Now it's over to our political correspondent.